My name is Jen Curl, and I'm a graduate student at the University of Alaska Fairbanks, and I'm also working with Kenai Fjords National Park. I am working on optimizing seabird monitoring protocols. Basically, there's been a lack of consistent seabird monitoring in the Kenai Fjords region. There's at least 22 species of seabirds in the park. We chose to use glaucoswing gulls as our first focal species because they have the most stable and consistent colonies within the park itself. And then we also wanted a species that would be able to provide us with a sampling framework where we were able in 2011 to go out and map where all the colonies were and then to come up with a research design based on those colony locations. So I have sort of two specific goals under that and one is to evaluate monitoring methods, so how you actually go about counting birds or coming up with a population estimate. So I'm looking at three different methods and they are doing a count with two observers and just counting actual birds on a cliff. Um, taking photographs from a boat, and then using aerial photographs. I have two main categories of fieldwork that I do. One of them is replicate counts. So we actually travel up to the sheer 11 colonies across the expanse of the park, and we count each of those colonies up to 20 times over the course of the season. So we're looking at how many times should you ideally visit a colony. Um, and how many colonies should you visit in order to get the best sense of what's going on with the population. And then the other type of field work that we are doing is we have time-lapse cameras that we have deployed on a small island in Nyalik Bay. And there were six across one colony. They set out all season long for about 10 weeks. And they were looking at a small group of nests and were trying to get a sense of if there are patterns in attendance of breeding birds, because when we count birds, we really want to know what is the population size of adults that are breeding rather than just hanging out on the colony. So it should tell us a number of things. It should say, you know, are there predictable patterns in when adults are attending? And then it should also tell us something about, you know, in one single count, how many birds we might be missing. I hope my project kind of helps answer questions of how long it takes to get in between colonies and if it's possible to monitor more than one and how many should be monitored. And then I also hope to sort of answer the question of how to use park resources most efficiently because I think it's a big question in resource management is you have a specific budget and then you have critical information you want gained. And so figuring out how to do that most efficiently and to gain the most information possible is going to be useful for your management goals. Um, so I hope that my project can help to inform that. This is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. Kenai Fjords National Park is a really special place. and Some of my colonies are down in front of tidewater glaciers and just getting to see the breadth and the expanse of the park and the whole region on a whole is pretty magical, actually. Um, the trade-off to that is that the weather is generally terrible. <laughs> and so I've had to fight things like big seas and being seasick and having seasick field technicians and having birds poop on me a lot. But overall, it's been just really amazing.